this is a question about screening tests. Here a screening test was performed and these are the results of the screening test. It's not necessary for them to give you this table in this format but you can make it your own by yourself. It's quite simple but uh, anyways in this table we have the test results which can either be positive or negative. We have all these, these people in this column who are the diseased people and here are the healthy people and we have the totals. Um, so from the diseased people, the ones who got a positive test result are 130 and the ones with the negative test result are 20. Altogether that's 150 of all the people who are diseased and the from all the healthy people we have 70, 70 of them who got a positive test result and 830 of them who got a negative test result. That's a total of 900 people who are healthy which is 70 plus 830 of course. And then we have here, which is just the total number of all the positive tests, of the positive results were 200, which is 130 plus 70, and here all the negative results were 850. And if you uh, add all of these up, you get a total of 1,050 people who took the test. Either you add these two or you add these two. Uh, anyway, so we have a total population of 1,050 that took the test. So we can label these. So really quickly, the diseased, from the dis diseased people who were tested as positive, that means since they are actually diseased, so they must be true positives. And the ones who tested as negative, but they are a disease, so these would be false negatives. Whereas from the healthy people, we have uh, the ones who were incorrectly identified as positive, while they are actually healthy, so these would be the false positives. And we have the true negatives here, because they're healthy and they're correctly classified as being healthy with a negative test result. So first question, what is this sensitivity? Again, sensitivity is the amount of uh, is the proportion of um, of diseased people because diseased people are sensitive. So as we can see, that must be the true positives. So you want to see from all the people who are diseased, how many of them were actually classified as being truly diseased with a positive test result. So that would be true positives over all the people who are diseased, which are true positive plus false negative. So it would be 130, which is true positives, over 130 plus 20, which is true positives plus false negatives, which is 150. So our sensitivity is 130 over 150. And then you can express it as a percentage by calculating that fraction. Uh, as for specificity, again specificity has to do with the people who are healthy. So this is all the people who are actually truly classified as healthy through a negative uh, um, a correctly identified through a negative test result, so meaning the test came out to be negative, so the true negative, so here we have the true negatives which are 830 people, over all the people who actually are healthy, regardless of their test results, which would be the false positives plus the true negatives, so 830 plus 70, that would be 900. So here the specificity is 830 over 900 and the sensitivity is 130 over 150. And then you can calculate the percentages as well for that. Now, what is the negative predictive value and what is the positive predictive value? Well, for the positive predictive value, these uh, these these are of course um, post-test values, so they have to do once you've with how once you've gotten the test result, either being positive or negative, you look at those. So, um, positive predictive value: look at all the people who got a positive test result, which are all these people. See positive test results. They could either be true positives or false positives, and you want to see how many of them actually were correctly classified as true positives. So in this case it would be 130 true positives over all the people who had a positive test result which would be 130 plus 70 should be 200 so 130 over 200 it's pretty straightforward that's your positive predictive value. Negative predictive value is the opposite you want to see the true negatives which is in this case 830 over all the people who got a negative test result which would be the false negatives plus true negatives which in this case is 830 plus 20 which is 850 so 830 over 850 in this case and you can calculate those percentages as well okay uh, what is the accuracy accuracy just has to do with uh, with identifying the people who got the correct results meaning you're only looking for the people who were true either true positive or true negative so you take all the true positives and true negatives and you add them together in this case it's 130 plus 830 that would be 960 so we have all the people who came out with true trust re test results which is 960 divided by all the people who took the test which is 1050 people 1050 and that will give you the accuracy again you can calculate what is that as a percentage 
what is the prevalence well prevalence is basically all the people who are diseased regardless of their test results in this case it's all these people who are diseased regardless of whether they got a positive or a negative test result so the true positives plus the false negatives which is 130 over uh, plus 20 which is equal to 150 so 150 people who are actually diseased over all the people in the entire screening test which is 1050 people here in this case total so 150 over 1050 and you can calculate what that is in a percentage